Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that Evaluate sine of cos inverse of square root of 5 by 3 plus sine inverse of 5 by 13. We know that sine of theta plus phi is equal to sine of theta cos of phi plus cos of theta sine of phi. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. We have the expression sine of cos inverse of square root of 5 by 3 plus sine inverse of 5 by 13. Let theta be equal to cos inverse of square root of 5 by 3 which implies that cos theta is equal to square root of 5 by 3 in a triangle ABC if theta is the angle between the lines AC and CB and we know that cos of angle theta is given by base upon hypotenuse that is BC upon AC which will be equal to square root of 5 by 3. Now if we have base BC equal to square root of root 5 and hypotenuse AC equal to 3 then we can find the value of the perpendicular AB by using Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem we have Perpendicular AB is equal to square root of hypotenuse AC square minus base BC square which is equal to square root of 3 square minus square root of 5 square which will be equal to square root of 9 minus 5 which is given by square root of 4 that is 2. So we have value of the perpendicular AB as 2. We know that sine of theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is AB by AC which is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore we have cos of theta as square root of 5 by 3 and sin of theta equal to 2 by 3. Now again let phi be equal to sin inverse of 5 by 13 which implies that sin of phi is equal to 5 by 13. In a triangle PQR if phi is the angle between the lines PR and RQ we know that sine of angle phi is given by perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is PQ by PR which is equal to phi by 13. If we have the value of the perpendicular PQ as phi and the value of the hypotenuse PR as 13 then we can find the value of the base RQ by using Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, we have base RQ is given by square root of hypotenuse PR square minus perpendicular PQ square which is equal to square root of 13 square minus 5 square which will be square root of 169 minus 25 that is square root of 144 given by 12 therefore base RQ is equal to 12 now we know that 
कॉस ऑफ एंगल फाइव इज गिवन बाय बेस अपॉन हाइपोटेन्यूज दैट इज आर क्यू अपॉन आर पी विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाय थर्टीन दोफोर वी हैव साइन ऑफ एंगल फाइव एज फाइव बाय थर्टीन एंड कॉस ऑफ एंगल फाइव एज ट्वेल्व बाय थर्टीन वी हैव अज्यूम्ड दैट कॉसिंग वर्ल्ड फॉर स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव बाय थ्री ऑफ थीटा एंड साइलिंग वर्ल्ड फॉर फाइव बाय थर्टीन ऑफ फाइव सो दी गिवन एक्सप्रेशन बिकम्स साइन ऑफ थीटा प्लस फाइव विच इज गिवन बाय साइन थीटा कॉस फाइव प्लस कॉस थीटा साइन फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा कॉस फाइव प्लस कॉस थीटा साइन फाइव ना सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दी वैल्यूज ऑफ कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा एंड कॉस फाइव साइन फाइव ऑन दी राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द इक्वेशन वी गेट 2 बाय थ्री इंटू ट्वेल्व बाय थर्टीन प्लस स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव बाय थ्री इंटू फाइव बाय थर्टीन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर बाय थर्टी नाइन प्लस फाइव स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव बाय थर्टी नाइन दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फाइव स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव होल अपॉन थर्टी नाइन So sine of theta plus phi is equal to twenty four plus five square root of five whole upon thirty nine. Therefore, we can write the value of the expression sine of cos inverse of square root of five by three plus sine inverse of five by thirteen. is given by 24 plus 5 square root of 5 whole upon 39 which is the required answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session